Hi everybody, this is a tutorial for Ode to Joy, the melody part. I'm going to play through it and then we'll talk about how you can play it. <laughs> This is what your music looks like. And you'll notice that down this side of the page, there are a bunch of letters, which you can't see very clearly right now. But if you go online and download the pictures that I sent you, you'll find it on there. I'm going to show you a different version of this that's a lot easier for you to see. This time, the different lines are color-coded. The first line, which we're going to call A, is green. The second line, which we're going to call A1, is yellow. The third line, which we're going to call B, is pink. And you'll notice after that, it's all repetition of the same color. There's yellow again, green again, yellow again, pink again, yellow again. So you're going to be learning three lines of music. And you notice instead of A, B, and C, we're calling it A, A1, and B. And that's because A and A1 are almost identical. The only place that they're different is in the very last measure. So it's basically two lines of music. One of them um, is completely different, and that's this one here, and we'll talk about how to play that one in a minute. So we're going to start with line A. To get ready for line A, let's just review a D scale going up. D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D. And a D scale going down. D, C sharp, B, A, G, F sharp, E, and D. That's your D scale. Your A line of Ode to Joy, the first line that you play, starts in the middle of the upgoing scale, and it doesn't go all the way to the top. You just go from F sharp to A, and you play F sharp twice, and then you're going to go down the scale all the way to D, starting with an A. And then you're going to 
repeat that and go back up the scale to F sharp. And then you have your last measure. So let's start on F sharp. We're going to go up to A, down to D, back up to F sharp. With a couple of notes repeated. So two F sharps. Two A's. Two D's. Two F sharps. Okay, you may notice that in the last measure we're playing two notes in one bow stroke. That's called a slur. So the F sharp and the E are going to be played on a down bow, and then the next E is going to be a long E on an up bow. Okay, that was line A. Now we're going to do line A1. And it starts exactly the same way as A. The only difference is the last measure. And it's pretty easy. This is the end of line A1. So it has two notes slurred in one down bow, just like A line does, but the notes are different. Instead of F sharp to E, it's E to D. Here's the whole of the A1 line, the yellow line. 